We have a gentleman who's going to be addressing the crowd for the first time, and he is the representative for, for Serbia for Macmillan. So, can you please welcome Jakub Back? It's on, it's on, it's on. Okay. Hi, guys. Okay, uh, well. As Richard said, uh, my name is Jakub Bonk, actually, but that's a, that's a Polish thing. Uh, and that's where I live, in Gdańsk, in, uh, in Poland. And when he said that I'm responsible for Serbia, uh, not only, these are all the countries that I'm actually responsible for. So, as you can imagine, there's a lot of countries that I could give these kinds of presentations in. And I've actually have done that in the past. So seeing 500 people is something I've done before, but that was before the pandemic. So this is kind of scary right now because, yeah, I'm not used to it anymore. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Very helpful. Anyhow, what I wanted to show you is what we have been doing recently. So yeah, the whole pandemic thing changed the, the, the speaking in front of 500 people into speaking into my laptop in my bedroom. So. This is, exact, this is the first conference I did right at the start of the pandemic. You couldn't go out, you couldn't go into an office, you couldn't have a, find the proper space, so I just had to use my bedroom here with uh, light reflectors and, and everything. Shirt up to here, sweatpants here, right? But, okay, let's be honest, guys. You did not come here to listen to me speak, right? Uh, Maybe you looked at the program and said, look, oh, this Russell guy, this Gregor guy, well, this Macmillan guy doesn't even have a title to his session. This is going to be a blast. Let's come for that. No, I'm, I know that I'm more of an ad you see when you turn on YouTube, right? <laughs> this is going to be more than five seconds. But... Well, every once in a while, you get this ad that you actually start, it's interesting, right? And you, and you kind of keep watching. So this is what I'm, what I'm hoping for. And we all know this is not easy, right? The attention span is off the charts, right? It's really hard to keep people interested when it comes to speeches like that, especially if I'm not the person you've come to listen to, right? But hey, we have Google, so I did ask. How do I make this interesting, right? So that you actually listen. So that Google came up with a few interesting points. The first one is really interesting. I'm not trying that. Standing here for uh, 30 seconds, just being quiet. But we also have ChatGPT now. So I'm using it. So I did ask a couple of questions and how do I start? It did come with a very profound answer, something that an ambassador might might use, not, not me, I'm not of that gravitas. So the answer it did come up with, I was like, no, please make it shorter. <laughs> so it did come up with a joke. And I thought I'd share it with you. Yeah. <laughs> so all these billions of dollars and you get, end up with a dad joke uh, to start a conference. So I thought, ah, oh, this is, you know, the AI might kill us but it's not gonna be a stand-up comedian anytime soon. So, okay, let's try to approach this completely differently. Do you guys remember the first textbook you learned English from? Not the first tex textbook you taught English from, but the first one you, got, you learned English from. I see heads nodding, good? Okay, I do. This is the one I started learning English from. I'm not sure whether you had this course book here or not, but typical yellow pages or yellowish pages with a few illustrations and, and nothing more, right? Then in elementary school, I've had this. I started learning English in elementary school. I didn't do any Russian. I was at the age where we started learning English, so this was the first book I've used. And then this happened. <laughs> the pinnacle of language acquisition, right? We had satellites and I could watch MTV all day, right? And this is where English happened when I was a teenager, right? But course books and everything gets old, right? They change through time. Maybe sometimes they don't, right? This is the book I was using when I was in secondary school, right? 
I can still remember the Tracy Chapman song. I have, I have no idea which level it was. Fast Car by Tracy Chapman. It was one of the listening exercises in Headway. You probably know which one. I don't. And another thing is, this tool that you see is, was very useful when I was a rep, when you had to find teachers in the school. So I would go into a school, trying to pinpoint an English teacher. They were carrying this. Easy, not as easy right now. Just a question, how many of you have actually listened to music using cassettes? Good, 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 okay. Okay, so the Beavis and Butthead joke is relatable, right? Good, okay, but Macmillan changed over the years as well. It's not only Headway, right? When I started working for Macmillan, uh, YouTube was not a thing yet. It did not exist. Facebook looked like this. It was still in Harvard. Netflix was a DVD rental store. We had books that we no longer have. But we still have books that we've had back then. It's not only Headway. Macmillan re recycles materials as well. Right? It's not only OUP, right? Now, I'm taking you down this memory lane because if you're at my age, it's nice to reminisce. That's for one thing. It took a couple of minutes off the clock, right? That's another good thing. Uh, but I was also thinking, what should I prepare, right? I knew that I was coming up here after dinner, so most of you will be concentrated on digesting. And I have to make this interesting. And talking about course books for 15 minutes is not going to be something that you are going to be interested in. That's at least what I thought, right? Uh, so. I don't know you guys, there's 500 of you. I don't know where you teach, what you teach, what sectors you teach, what kind of kids, what am I supposed to talk about? The books I might talk about are not gonna be relatable to you. So I thought, okay, let's come up with something useful, right? Let's try to bring this presentation to something that you can actually look at, take home, grab photos off, and use it right away, right? So this is the idea for today. So I just wanna say that I'll have QR codes as well, but I'll be sharing that with you, Richard, right? So. If you'd like, you can grab photos. If not, this is going to be available, right? So you can have it then. So uh, first thing I want to mention is we are doing a lot of webinars. And I don't know if you guys know about them, right? So I just wanted to take this opportunity to let you guys know that, for example, we were doing the advanced learning webinars right now. Three of them are already done. The first one was also about AI. Grzegorz had a session as well. Uh, we were doing a webinar about kids, teenagers, Dave was doing one, and we are doing one more on adults soon. So if you, and I guess since you're here, you're interested in that kind of stuff, you can still register for that. We are doing the winter fair as well, very, very soon. So if you'd like to listen to the crystals, the Kardashians of ELT, right? You can register for that as well. You get all the resources, the recordings, the certificates, it's all there. So uh, there's still time to register for that. Uh, one more thing I wanna mention is the Advancing Futures program we are doing. If you're looking in uh, for materials about uh, global citizenship, sustainability, diversity, equality, uh, integrity, there's a plethora of materials that you can use or you can take them and, I don't know, upload them to ChatGPT or whatever and have lessons on that. This is just to illustrate how many materials there are on the site. Webinars, worksheets, anything. It's, it's free for you to use. If you don't know how, there's a very cool uh, webinar that introduces all this. So this helps you uh, introduce these materials and all these topics, themes into your classes. So this might be a first way to go. And you can share these. If you would like to see what other teachers around uh, the globe created, you can do that as well. I was actually looking at some videos from Georgia. There's stuff in there that you can look at and then you can upload as well. Some motivation for your kids. I also wanted to mention teacher to teacher. This is something we actually did uh, during the pandemic, so I don't know if you use this or not, but it's still there, but you have to dig it up. So I thought I would uh, dig this up. This is 
lessons from teachers to teachers. So there are different lessons from different teachers. Those two guys here are actually Polish. I travel with them across Europe. They're very, very good. The second lesson is from a teacher in Argentina. There are different lessons from teachers to teachers. So there's also some materials you could use if you have time for extra work in your classes. And one thing I just want to tease a bit, because this is not super ready yet, but we're launching this in January, I believe. We are partnering with British, the British Council. So if you work in uh, private institutions and would like to use Macmillan course books and British Council assessment materials, like tests and this, and help British Council develop your staff, your teachers as well, this is something that you can uh, have a first look at using this QR code, but we'll be informing you about this in January. I think that's when the announcement, official announcement, is going to come. And this is a nice segue just to also tease you about courses, as we have a lot of uh, new courses when it comes to primary. Curious Kids Learning Lands Academy Stars Second Edition. Also, this, if you need samples or anything like this, and all the information can be found on the site. Skillful Third Edition by popular demand. Proficiency. I hear people asking about proficiency. I'm really eager to see how many we actually sell. Because uh, I've been hearing this question for the last 10 years, and it's finally here. Uh, one thing I want to mention is if you need samples or anything like that, you can reach out to Richard, you can reach out to English Book. We have a special tool that can provide you with full e-samples of every single book. And if, you have to need, and if you need to have a look at the teacher's materials, we can also provide you with uh, demo codes to all the teacher's materials. So you're only limited by time. We give you a month to look at everything, and uh, the English Book can also provide that as well. So all you need to do is ask, right? So, okay, I just hope my interesting span was good enough. If there's any questions you would like to ask me, please go ahead. This is my uh, email, or you can ask the English book. And I have the pleasure of introducing Grzegorz Śpiewak. Richard asked me to introduce Grzegorz, because I can pronounce his name. <laughs> Yes, you can switch. I'll just say that I've been, I've been working with Grzegorz for the past, it's going to be 20 years now. So uh, Grzegorz is an author, co-author, head of EL, had ELT consultant for Macmillan. I've seen numerous speeches when it comes to Grzegorz, and I'm really glad I'm going to see this one because I haven't yet. So, yeah. And I, I don't think so. And Grzegorz is the guy who actually taught me to present. So if anything go, went wrong... I'm going to get yelled at, but if you, if, you did like it, if you did like it, you can tell Grzegorz you would like it. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Over to Grzegorz. <laughs>